I would not count on that mother. The Parchment of Power's ability to conjure walls of fire is, as Stark would say, a feature, not a bug. Strange also said don't read the Parchment of Power. A lot of times. So many times that I listened. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. I wish my phone could summon fiery partitions. I wonder if there's a spell for that. Mine's rusty. Also, did old Skullhead just dance? Good day, Hunter. Ah, Hunter. Just who I was hoping to see. I understand you've already been on the hunt with Blade, so you're aware of our unusual visitor on the grounds? Yes, we encountered something Blade called the Bargast. His instincts were correct. I believe it is indeed the bar guest, or someone's attempt at creating a facsimile of one. Is the Abbey in danger? Not unless we provoke it. However, it seems to harness a dark magic similar to what courses through the barrier. I need you to track this bar guest, capture it, and bring it to me here in the forge. But please, don't kill it. It's my hope that I can find a way to use its magics to break through the barrier to the lab. Hinging our success on finding and capturing a ghost dog seems risky at best. I agree, which is why you should seek out Blade and Wolverine. Our three greatest hunters should maximize our chances of success. I believe the portal will soon be at its apex. I'll do my best to keep it stable until you can cross. I'll see you there, Hunter. Track the beast quickly. Time is of the essence. Time. Guy's got very little respect for things more powerful than himself. <laughs> That's a kind of crazy you gotta respect, even if you don't approve. Johnny's a damn good ghost rider, but he sucks at following simple instructions. No dark old page is to be taken lightly, especially not the parchment of power. Never seen a book create a wall of hellfire before? Rookie. You were more laid back than I expected. I'm on vacation. Fighting the mother of demons is vacation? Okay, I'm on sabbatical. Compared to teaching a bunch of kids, this is vacation. If you have a wealth of knowledge, you could share it with the rest of us. Sorry, can't freelance. Promised an old friend. Also, my boss. And an extremely powerful psychic who tracks me with his mind. Are we being watched right now? Always best to assume. 
Oh, hey, what's up, Chuck? Hmm? Nah, I'll be here another month at least. Sure. See ya. He, uh, hung up. Sarah never told me you were this fun. Johnny read from the big bad book. That's a very Johnny Blaze thing to do. No point in hiding it, Hunter. I already got a whiff of that demon dog you're after. Blade said it gave you two the slip the other night. I want in on the next run. Perhaps that is what our hunt is missing. Your positive attitude. Me? Positive? That's a new one. But I am curious about this mystery dog of yours. This supernatural beast roaming the Abbey grounds has proven difficult to track. It only seems to appear at night. Still, Strange thinks it may be critical to breaking through the barrier. Blade's no slouch, and I've seen you in action. This thing must be the real deal if it's given you trouble. It is a Barghest. It resembles a hound, but it is not. It is a spectral omen of death. I thought I smelled a weird doggy odor out by your old crypt. I chalked it up to the side effects of your resurrection. I do not smell like a dog, thank you very much. <laughs> ah, I'm just busting your chops. You smell a lot worse than a dog. This beast is vitally important. You say you picked up the scent near Hunter's Folly? Yeah, that's right. If I went back there, I could probably pick it up. No sweat. So... I'll meet you there? Did you just invite yourself along? Bet your ass I did. I'll see you at the Folly tonight. See you at Hunter's Folly. Stepped in some of Charlie's left behinds. Hunter, good to see you. All right, Blade. Don't... Something smells of shadows and blood. Even a Sorcerer Supreme can't rest on his laurels. <laughs> Like playing with fire, huh? Peace. I don't trust the olds when they are heads down like this. If anyone's going to blow up the enemy. I don't want it to come to that at all. Things are looking up around here. Can't talk. Brain's working overtime. What have you got for me, boss? There goes our element of surprise. Now more than ever, we must destroy the parchment of power as soon as possible. It was disturbingly reckless of Johnny Blaze to read that page. No single spell in the dark world comes without a problem. Don't forget to write. I have something for you. The latest Spider-Man fanfic by Sloth Baby. Components for shop class. That's nearly as interesting. Did you see that wall of flame? I bet they saw that in space. I wonder if it spelled anything. I've been texting with MJ a lot lately. I heard the dark cold pages were dangerous. Is this visit business or pleasure? I guess it is a little bit of both. And you came to see me. I'm listening. I spoke with Strange. He believes the Barghest is more important than we originally understood. 
I also talked with Wolverine. I know it was not easy for you to admit that we lost the creature. I'll get over it, once we capture that damn thing. You will have your chance. The Doctor feels it is imperative that we capture the creature as soon as possible for his research. When is it ever not imperative with these guys? Wolverine has agreed to join us. I assume you have no issue there. The more the merrier. We should start up at Hunter's Folly. That's the last place I saw this thing's tracks. Wolverine also smelled something in that area, so it is agreed. Then I'll see you tonight at the Folly. Grizzly old biker dudes. They just... Hunter, I'd like a word when you have a moment. I don't want to waste your time, so I'll be direct. I overheard you, Nico, and Magic talking in the chapel last night. I hope you three are not planning another foolish excursion to rescue you-know-who. Her name is Wanda. Yes, I know. You cannot even say her name. Just level with me. Are they still planning on trying to save her? No. But you were whispering, talking in hushed tones. Sounds like you were trying to conceal something. That would not be entirely untrue. Oh? We were talking about breaking into Banner's lab. Ugh, I already told you no. Well, perhaps you need to tell them no. Both Magic and Nico think it is a good idea. Oh, I will definitely have a word with them. Now, is there anything else you'd like to tell me, or would like to know, before I do just that? Why did you keep the parchment's location a secret from us? Uh, are we on that again? We are. Remember the Wall of Fire spectacle Blaze caused? You mean the Wall of Fire that engulfed the Solus? That was the result of Blaze reading the parchment, which is why I kept it away from this abbey. I care too much about the Suns to expose them to that kind of danger. So, I gave it to Blaze. It wasn't to deceive the team. It was to protect them. Blaze seems like a tarnished enough soul to handle something like the page. My reasoning exactly. Now, is there anything else? What if we remove the corruption somehow? What a strange question. You already know the answer to that. It's impossible. Now that we know where the page is, it will not be long until Lilith finds it. No doubt. Do you... I mean, have you considered Lilith does not have a choice in the matter? What do you mean? She sold her soul to C'thon, right? For unlimited power, yes. But does that not mean she is compelled to serve him? Even if she does not want to? What? Are you actually feeling sorry for her? Because she made her choices long ago. I would not be surprised if she regretted such a foolhardy decision. I don't give a damn about her regrets. It was her decision to sell her soul to an evil Elder God. She knew what she was doing. I hate to push this, but... I agree with the rest of the team. Retrieving the Gamma Accelerator from Banner's lab... I already told you, I don't want to hear it. But you have to. The Accelerator might be our best shot at destroying the parchment. The parchment is a mystical item. It cannot be destroyed by scientific means. We cannot know that for sure unless we try. Banner's lab is too dangerous. We need to focus on finding Blaze again, and retrieving the page from him. When we do that, then maybe I will reconsider. But... I've heard enough. So let's change topics before things get... heated. I have taken up enough of your time. I should go. 
We'll talk more later. Oh, Hunter. Thanks for your honesty today. Show no mercy. Make it quick. Not lost focus yet. It is good to be back in the fight. Let us see if they have an answer for this. Yeah, that's... 
That's right. Hope you're ready. I am impressed. I'm on it. Gotta see it for yourself. Here we go. Some for the rest of us. Is that all? At least monsters are wild and unpredictable. These rentamarks have no gumption. Fate is sealed. Hail that. The advantage is mine. Cretans can't hope to stop you. In time for moving. You've still got some time. Tear them to shreds. Even for Hydra. I'm afraid you might not make it back from this one. Mercy to the servants of Philip. You are lucky to still be breathing. The power of the light.
This shall be of great help. These fools can't handle you. track mine. Time has come. Is that truly your best? That's so much worse. No change in plans? Did your mama have any kids that- Time is almost up. Do as much as you can. I bet I can make you talk. The mother of demons will be your undoing. Welcome, assistants. you take down here, the less we have to deal with later.
got room for one more. Hydra's standards have fallen a great deal. We don't fear death. This is a serious predicament for you. We've done it. Excellent work. Here we are doing Blaze's dirty work for him. At least we do it better. <laughs> you smell it, Hunter? That ain't right. There's something dangerous creeping around out of here. Present company excluded. That is the scent Blade was tracking. Blade, huh? Yeah, he's got a pretty good nose for this kind of thing. Not as good as mine, though. Feel like snooping around? Let us get this thing. Okay, I like that attitude. Grab your dog and follow me. Where'd you get that dog anyway? I know it ain't for the pound. It is a long story. We got time. When I was younger, Lilith would send wave after wave of her children to attack the Abbey's defenses. I trained with Agatha and Caretaker by clearing out whatever monsters were lingering around the perimeter. One day, an entire pack of Shadowhounds tried to swarm the gate. They did not have much of a chance against us. And when the smoke cleared, there was Charlie, the lone survivor. Didn't have the heart to finish the job? I do not know what it was. Something about the look she gave me. I could not put her down. She was sleeping at the foot of my bed by the next night. Sounds like you got yourself a friend for life. The portal stayed open this time. Yeah, almost feels too easy. Guess we go in and kick its ass. Mind if I tag along? How long have you been standing here? Long enough to watch that thing run right by you. 
Well, are you gonna brood in the dark, or come with us? <laughs> wouldn't miss it. Damn thing got away. You thinking what I'm thinking? Hunter, hold on just a moment. What is it, Doctor? I doubt that portal is going to stay open forever. The creature you've been pursuing, I suspect now it may be some kind of Hydra experiment, or worse. The Barghest? I thought we had all accepted its mythical origins. I'm skeptical that the beast just jumped from the pages of ancient lore. No, there's something else afoot here. We had planned on putting it down regardless of where it came from. Actually, if you could bring it in alive, I think there may be a great deal we could learn from it. No promises, Doctor. You do remember who my hunting partners are? Yes, I realize you're all very eager, especially Wolverine. But do your best. It is just as I suspected. Hydra. I knew they were behind this. Pieces all came together a bit too perfectly. You're telling me all that mythical creature hype came down to this? The power of the light. I'll put this to you. Some for the rest of us. Get ready. You kissed the mother with that mouth? Come on, we're doing it. I have always wanted a sidekick. Of course, the three of you are known for your restraint, but try to bring the creature back in one piece. I still need to study it when you're done. Might not be up to us, Doc. That thing gets feisty. No promises. I've got a reputation to protect. You have earned this! You were too weak for this fight. You are going to talk.
still is this one. Arigato. Soon we will be nourished. I'm gonna make you pay for that. Hydra seems quite intent on protecting the bar guest. I would think that's a good indicator of its potential value to us. Or maybe Hydra just doesn't like us and the dog is irrelevant. Did Tony put you up to this, or are you just providing color commentary out of personal curiosity? I'm just here to make sure no innocent dogs are harmed by your theories. <sighs> I'll be broken! of death, a demonic entity that has likely taken many innocent lives over the centuries. Liberty is saying there are no bad dogs, just bad owners. Of all people, I thought you would understand the nature of the beast, Logan. I'm gonna rip you a new one. <laughs> That's one hell of a move. Someone had an accident. By now, I would hope we've all seen enough of the bar guest in action to understand its nature. <laughs> Worse than the rest of them. Yes, maybe it is just scared of unwelcome intruders. I've yet to hear any other proposals on how we might break through the barrier. If anyone has a non-bar guest solution, I'm all ears. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. It's on the ugly one. Maybe you should 
teach me that one. You're not the first to try that. You're not ready for me, bub. Could you maybe hasten your efforts a bit here? Doing the best we can here, Doc. Like you keep saying, you're a dog. Make this quick. Every once in a while, the legends are true. Magic may be powerful, Doctor, but I am still impressed you managed to contain the Bargast. No less impressive than your efforts to capture it, Hunter. I believe in its weakened state, the creature will remain bound here. And what do you plan on doing with it now? The first step will be carefully transporting the beast down to the forge, a delicate operation I plan to handle personally. Why don't you come by tomorrow before I begin the actual research? I'll know more then. You see the teeth on that thing? Yeah, pretty nasty. Too bad we can't train it. Give it time. We get desperate enough, I'm sure someone will try it. So, why are we keeping this thing alive? The material properties of the animal's skin are amazing. Uh, sounds like serial killer talk to me. We need to understand how Hydra was able to create something like this. You're on your own getting it back to the forge. I hate to admit it, but I may need Tony's assistance for this. I ain't much of a conversationalist. More of a fighter. Can't hurt to warm up on Hydra's flunkies. You've got an endless supply of practice dummies to beat on.
Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Back again. Caretaker said I need to be a team player. So I guess I'm letting you choose for me too. New and improved. Time to take it to the next level. A timely enhancement. Let us see it in action. You ever wonder if those birds out there are stuck here, trapped in the Abbey's bubble? It's creepy if you think about it. I guess I could show you a couple of things. Good stuff. Better than any modeling simulation. Sounds relaxed. Looking for company, Logan. Funny, you strike me as a loner. Who, me? I like people. Problem is, people usually don't like me back. Well, we need your skills, so consider yourself liked here. And my apologies about the circumstances. When you get to be my age, you end up carrying so much baggage people would rather leave you in the dust. So, uh, thanks for not leaving this old man behind. Trust me, you do not need to worry about your personal problems. We all have them here. Oh yeah. I could tell right away this place was like a clubhouse for the deeply disturbed. I'm just bummed I didn't bring my toothbrush. Well, you are welcome to stay here as long as you want. I gotta admit, Sarah's got a pretty swanky setup. Puts Xavier's bad to shame. Some people think it is a little... spooky. A spooky place for spooky people. <laughs> Seems like home. I must admit, I wasn't entirely confident that the bar guest would be taken alive, but if anyone could do it... And now you will do something terrible to the beast? Not necessarily. The barrier protecting Dr. Banner's facility functions on a simple premise. Only demons can pass through it, so all we need is a way to disguise the hunter as a demon. I told you before, I am not turning that dog into a cape. And I told you, it is not a dog. Besides, I don't think a cape will be enough. You wouldn't dare. My hope is that we can synthesize a facsimile of the bar guest's skin to fool the barrier without harvesting the creature itself. This really is a bizarre plan, even for you. If you want to reach the Gamma Accelerator, this is our best and only hope. More importantly, Doctor, is reaching Wanda. I don't like it, but if the creature must be sacrificed for her... Having this much demonic energy concentrated on you, Hunter, is not an insignificant risk. I just hope your collar can withstand- Let me worry about that, Doctor, after you have proven out your plan. Have you come to vent about Strange's plan? I did my best not to be rude. To his face, at least. You do not believe it will work. 
No, I don't. But I do know that Wanda is on the other side of that barrier. And the Doctor may be our only hope of reaching her. He cares about Wanda too. Do not forget that. Stark may be after this Gamma Accelerator, but the Doctor is clearly focused on Wanda. That's why I did not rip apart his idea from the beginning. I know we both want the same thing. It could be worse. You could be the one who has to actually wear the dog armor. <laughs> True. You are the guinea pig once again. Thank you for the talk, Hunter. I feel slightly better about our chances. Can we please just get this research going now? Because that thing is looking at me all wrong. The creature is restless. The sooner we start our research, the better. What happens to the creature after you are finished? That is up to you. See that you do not hurt it. I'll do my best. I want an alpaca. Excuse me? You get a demon dog, Hunter gets a demon dog, I want an alpaca. For the last time, Tony, the bar guest is not a pet. It's... evil. They're friendly, have nice fur, and don't glow in the dark. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? Sometimes, I even impress myself. I saw you petting it this morning. You are mistaken. I was taking a blood sample. Oh, does that require feeding it a fistful of treats? I can feel the mystical energy growing. Farewell. This should be useful. This will do nicely. Always better to be prepared. All set. This should be useful. This will do nicely. Central is ready to work. I asked Tony if he had any material on encryption, and he left me this pile of spellbooks. Something tells me Doctor Strange is probably looking for them. These are the current priorities. No problem. Thanks, Hunter. You would make a great physical trainer. If you want. Purely academic exercise. I can handle this. It will take more than that, I'm afraid. Let me 
show you. I'm skeptical of your chances, but stranger things have happened. Apparently our reputation isn't enough to scare off these so-called children of Lilith. Should aid me in my fight. Follow my rules. doesn't care about you. I hope you realize that in time. Let's get it. Follow my movement. You should really stay down. Bother us again. Prepare yourself. I am a sorcerer supreme. Examine it some. Let's try this. 
You may wake up with a slight headache. Watch closely. Even a sorcerer supreme has room to grow. I truly doubt they're paying you enough for what's about to happen. Just what this battle requires. This as miserable as possible for you, fair warning. This won't end well for you. I wouldn't get up if I were. Pick your target, Hunter. I'm making my highest priority. when you mess with the Midnight Suns. Roger that.
Your fate is sealed. <laughs> Lilith has sent you here to die. I hope you are prepared. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Going for it. Not bad. Surprise. This time it's one of the fallen. Sure, I can't change your mind? Finally. How invigorating.
being reinforced. You've not lost interest. Yeah, that's still not gonna be enough. Your time has come. That'll be healed before you can try again. Had your chance to escape. Their best was still not enough for us. Something? Too weak for this fight. Fights in the bag. This must happen to you all the time. Now 
I see why so many fear your strength. they're ready for this. They have got help. Keep it up. I'm not worried. Got a little cocky there. What? Now that was something. Numbers will not save you now. Interesting. I'll give it a whirl. 
I am impressed. I've spotted enemy reinforcements. Once again, Lilith's servants fall. One more time. Hopefully they learned their lesson. But we all know that's wishful thinking. Hey, look who's awake. Shop class tonight. You free? I am ready. Right on. Good instincts, but you want to tighten up the array. Uh, like this? Close. Here, I can show you. Uh, what's all the, uh, new equipment? Ah, oh, the supplies? No need to thank me. Donated to the cause, courtesy of five Stark subsidiaries. Well, that's... it's really something. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess, but just take what you need. I'll clear out the rest, I promise. Awesome. That's great. Huh. What is wrong? It's nothing. Did you know Tony planned to do this? No. Did you? Nope. Maybe he can tell us what's going on. How's it going, boss? Ready to get your hands greasy? Tony, why did you bring all this equipment? Really? The old stuff has a junkyard horked up in an 80s machine shop vibe. Why, were we supposed to vote on it? Do not worry about me. Robbie, huh? He's usually so laid back. I didn't think he'd have a problem. I cannot speak for him. The two of you should work it out. All right. I'll fix it. So, about this situation, I get it. We're bumping elbows. But you kids are doing good work here. Whatever you want to do, I'll support it. Glad you cleared that up with Tony. Now we can get to work. We don't have much on this Sabertooth guy, but we know he's incredibly dangerous. He's also somewhat predictable. In what way? When it comes to a fight, he's extremely aggressive. Our ideas take advantage of that. What have you cooked up? The initial prototype uses a tailored pheromone to keep him away. It provokes an intense revulsion we hope will blunt his attacks. Like a foul scent used to keep animals at bay? Well put. Our other prototype is... Well, we kept it simple. It's part sedative and part itching powder. To trip him up with a thorn in his paw. A very distracting thorn at that. I have the components you gave me. Always good to get ahead. I'm ready to put this together. How about you? Just a moment. No rush. I spoke with Tony about the equipment. He says he wanted to support shop class. That's all? He believes he is helping. That is good enough for me. Yeah, that's what I figured. Look, you came here to make something. Don't keep Parker waiting. I guess I'll keep an eye on Tony. Make sure he doesn't do any crazy rich people stuff. Like what? We don't want to find a champagne waterfall in the break room, you know? Actually, that would be tight. You ready to put this one to bed? I am ready.
Well, that went... not poorly. And that's a decent prototype. Just needs refinement before you bring it to market. You plan to sell it? It's only an expression. Although... Nope, stopping right there. Is that it for today? I am ready to go. That is something. <laughs> <laughs> 